Hi everyone, it's Joe here uh, from the Leeds Drum Academy and today I have a, a different video. I want to talk to you about this business of music and a lot of people seem to have kind of the wrong idea of how this goes, this business, because it is a business. And for me, being a professional musician, it's very important that I uh, value myself and I respect my time and the effort that I put uh, into music. Uh, I'm mainly an educator, which means playing live and recording and all sorts of that stuff that's not teaching related is for me a part-time job. I don't take that as seriously as I take my teaching career. I don't expect uh, people to reward me financially as much as I expect them to do when I'm teaching. I put a lot of work and effort and money into developing my skills as a teacher and as a drummer so I can share what I know uh, with all my students. That being said, I do not believe that we should be stealing from people. I believe that education should be affordable. When I price myself, for me, it's the middle ground between what I think I'm worth and what I know people can afford. I don't like the idea of teaching only special people or deep-pocketed people, okay? I think that um, there's some sort of um, vibe going on uh, where some people seem to believe that uh, teaching, because it's so necessary, is a great way of making a lot of money. And when you promote um, events, that are related to education, you should be aware that everyone deserves to attend it. Granted, not everyone will be able to attend it. That's okay. I get it. But when you make it extremely special, and when you make it almost VIP kind of event, it kind of fits the purpose of educating people. I don't think that people should feel that they don't deserve to be educated. After all, it is a human right to have, to have access to education. When I see people uh, organizing drum clinics or master classes and they charge unbelievable amounts of money, it offends me as a drum educator. I do charge for my lessons. I do charge for my time. I do charge when I have guest drummers coming into this academy. As I had uh, JP Bouvet here, I had Klaus Essler here, and we're going to have more events in the future. I do charge for those events. But again, I find the middle ground between how much is the event worth and how much can people actually afford. I want people to be able to come here. So my calculation is very simple. I'm going to share with you. How much is the artist's fee? How much is, the, is going to be the expense on hotels and, and flights and food? And then um, that's my, my initial price. Then I do add some money in terms of making the event worth our time and our effort here at the Academy to organize it. But... Here's the thing, once I get to that money, to that value, to that number, and I see, okay, this is not doable, it's too expensive, people will not be able to afford it. What I do is very simple. I talk to the artist, I talk to the, the guest teacher, and I say, look, uh, can we negotiate this so more people can come, or else I'm going to have to charge hundreds of pounds, I am in the UK, so hundreds of pounds for an event that I know that only some people, a very small number of people will be able to afford that much money. Um, and usually, guess what? The guest teachers say, 
Fine, man. Let's make it cheaper. Let's reorganize flights. Let's find uh, other dates. Um, maybe let's organize two master classes and a drum clinic. So we can reduce the master class fee. And we also make um, a drum clinic for 10 pounds. Everything uh, uh, added up, we'll, give, we'll pay for everything. We will break even, everyone's happy, and we will have a packed room of uh, enthusiastic drummers that are willing to learn and they can actually afford it. That being said, it, all I really want to say is be very careful when you're attending these events and ask yourself, why am I paying uh, 100 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds? Why am I paying this much money? How much? Does it cost to have this guy here? I look at the room and I see 15 people in the room. Each one is paying 250 pounds for the, the whatever is happening. That's a lot of money. Is this really necessary? Or is someone trying to make money without actually putting that much effort into it? I'm not saying that schools and events promoters are not putting the effort in, sure they are. But after all, this is about the students. As an organizing of drum clinics and master classes myself, I know that I do this for them. It's not for my ego. Yes, I do love to take the, the final picture with, uh, with JP Bouvet and, and, you know, Klaus Hessler, Mike Johnstons. I love that. I love that idea. But that's not why I spent hours trying to figure out the when and how much we can charge and what's fair. It's not, that's not why, that's not for that picture that I spent hours trying to figure out how many people I can have here. Can I organize two classes so we can have as many people as we can in here, even if we need to separate um, and kind of split the master class into two classes so they get the attention they deserve. I could organize a master class and say that, that it's extremely int intimate and then I have 25 guys here. That's not intimate, that's not going to be useful for anyone. And I'm charging like a million pounds per person because, you know, it's Mike Johnston. Yes, these things have a price. Education, quality education comes with a price. I do get that. But that should be for the teacher. I'm just the guy who opens the door and makes a couple of phone calls and sends a couple of e emails. That's it. So why should I make a lot of money out of it? So be very careful. Question yourself. Before giving up on your education because you can't afford it, Question yourself, why should I be paying this much? Is there another way to have access to this kind of education? And trust me, there is. Fortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are also doing a great job at organizing very affordable quality events. So look for those, they exist. But be very careful with the fantastic, amazing, super, you know, ultra educational event all you gotta pay is a thousand pounds it's too much I'm telling you straight up it's too much those events don't cost that much you know how I know it I organize them so there you go this business of music especially music education should be for everyone. That's what I believe in. I'll see you guys later.